Okay, well, uh, today we are going to talk about another important session uh, that is uh, very helpful in your clinical field for so management of calculation and management of iron drops as well as vasopressors. Uh, so, in your clinical setting, most of the time you are able to uh, deal with these drugs. So, sometimes you may get some conflict. Uh, while handling those things. Anyhow, I may give a brief uh, guideline to how to uh, calculate them and how to um, manage uh, them with a the patient. So having uh, this knowledge, I think uh, it, will, it would be uh, more beneficial for you to uh, do a work here in your clinical settings too, right? Uh, Okay, let's go to the right. Uh, can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Yes, sir. Right, okay. Antropes and vasopressors. Right? Antropes and vasopressors. Right. So I think that you may heard about this word antropes. Right? Number of times you may have a nice experience uh, handling these things. Anyhow, as a student also, you may heard about uh, you have heard about this word iron props. So, anyone uh, can tell me about uh, what does iron prop mean? What does iron props mean? Iron drop. What is iron props mean by? So, iron drops are the chemical agents right iron drops are the chemical agents which can um, influence to the heart contractility right iron drops are the chemical agents uh, which can uh, which can influence to the heart contractility. So what does it mean by heart contractility? Heart contractility, influence to the influence to the heart contractility. So what is heart contractility? What the heart contractility of Kilakian? Heart contractility is the force of heart contraction. The force of heart contraction. In the other words we can say Iron drops help to increase the force of heart contractivity or the contraction. Right? Iron drop helps. Iron drop helps to increase the force of one's heart contraction. Right? This is the general definition that you can uh, refer as the iron drops. Right. So, in our clinical settings, certain iron drops are there. They can increase the heart contractility. Right. They can increase. They can increase the 
contraction right so there are some others they can decrease right some agents they can increase the contraction on the other hand others can decrease the contraction right uh these chemical agent which can increase the heart contraction we call it as positive ionotropes these are called as positive ionotropes in contrast chemical agents which decrease the heart contractility called as which kind of ionotrope negative ionotrope negative ionotrope right so it means we have two types of ionotropes one is positive ionotrope the other one is negative ionotrope so generally positive ionotropes can increase the heart contraction and the negative ionotropes they can decrease the heart contraction so what happen when the uh, contraction either decreased or increased so what happen to our heart so let's think about when the contraction whether increased or decreased so what happen to the stroke volume is it affect to the stroke volume when the increasing or the decrease in the heart contraction is it affect for the stroke volume stroke volume volume means yes. the blood volumes comes out from the heart in the one particular heart contraction yes is it affect to the stroke volume no sir yes. sorry uh two answers no sir two answers there one is yes one is no so what what does mean of stroke volume stroke volume is the blood volumes the blood volume comes out from the heart for a one, one contraction one contraction when the power is goes high when the power is goes high it mean heart can contract powerfully so when we doing something powerfully so the ultimate result stroke volume can be increased stroke volume can be increased not much extent but anyhow this can increase so that mean sufficient pressure the otherwise and the other thing is sufficient pressure can be applied to the arterials too right sufficient pressure can be applied to the arterials too so we know the uh, equation of the blood pressure it mean cardiac output multiplied by peripheral resistance so cardiac output can be divided into stroke volume multiplied by heart rate then multiplied by peripheral resistance right so in the positive ion drops right in the positive ion drops they have some ability to increase the stroke volume as well as in the positive ion drops they sometimes increase the heart rate too increase the heart rate too right increase the heart rate too right so when the increasing stroke volume and the heart rate the ultimate result is what what happened to the blood pressure what happened to the blood pressure blood pressure might increase right so blood pressure might raise so there are certain application in the ion drops in the cardiac uh, cardiovascular system anyhow uh, probably in our clinical setting we try to use we try to use these agents 
uh, to regulate actually blood pressure. Not only blood pressure, there are certain other applications also there. Anyhow, most of time we are we have to manage the patient with we have to manage the patient with their low or high blood pressure using this ion drops, right? So using the positive ion drops, so it means we are able to increase the blood pressure in contrast, in contrast. By using negative ion drops, so what we can do? If it is a positive ion drops, we can increase the blood pressure of the patient. In contrast, when you are using the negative ion drops, what happened to the blood pressure? It can be decreased. Yes, pressure. yes, we can be decreased the blood pressure, right? So. Remember these two points, right? The general applications can be vary according to the situation of the patient. Anyhow, so take a, a rough idea. Uh, think about blood pressure and go beyond, right? Right, positive antropes. So already I told that I told you positive ion drops increase the heart contractility. It helps to increase the uh, blood pressure of the patient. Right? Uh, there are a number of positive ion drops in our clinical field. Anyhow, I may tell uh, one, two, three, two, three ion drops. Uh, these are. Uh, most commonly we are using in our clinical settings, right? So therefore, it's better to uh, have an understand about those things. So in, in addition to that, there are a number of ion drops is in our clinical field. So you can go through, follow them uh, using some uh, resources. Anyhow, today I'm going to talk about uh, three positive ion drops, which uh, mostly uh, use in our clinical setting, right? One positive ion drop is, you may know about adrenaline. Right? Adrenaline. Second one is, Not really. And third one is the vitamin. Right? Uh, these three uh, iron drops widely iron drops are widely used in our clinical setting. Right? These things and probes are widely used in our clinical setting. So, therefore, uh, today we are going to talk about uh, these three things, right? Adrenaline, noradrenaline, and dobutamine, right? Uh, in addition to that, I told that a negative ion drops, right? Negative ion drops. So, which means Reduce it reduces the uh, cardiac sorry reduces the heart contractility. The ultimate results would be the reduction of the blood pressure. Right? There are certain negative ion probes in our general setting. Especially, most of negative ion probes can be seen as uh, oral preparation. Right? There are some IV preparation also there. But most of time we can see it as oral preparation, negative ion drops. So commonly, uh, two categories. So one is beta blockers. Right, beta blockers category. So beta blockers category mean 
um, there are some uh, drugs medication uh, proper law what is atenolol disperol yes atenolol what is bisoprolol yes then cavadilol cavadilol yes very good cavadilol then metaprolol right so most of time you can see these drugs as oral preparation Prepar propanolol latanolol bisoprolol cavadilol metoprolol so these are one of the uh, these cat these uh, drugs can be uh, these categories include these categories uh, these drugs are included into the beta blockers so beta blockers mainly affect to the one thing reduce the cardiac uh, Uh, contractility as well as reduce the heart rate too so because of those those two actions so the heart rate can be decreased right beta blockers so in addition to the beta blockers so another category called as calcium channel blockers right calcium channel blockers so for example of uh, calcium channel blocker mm, what yes nevidipin yes diltiazem uh, yeah diltiazem is and amlodipine right yeah, these are the common sorry yeah, yeah these are the common drugs that can be used as the calcium channel blocker in addition to the calcium channel blocker and the beta blocker some antiarrhythmic drugs like amlod uh, amiodarone likewise drugs are available so anyhow most commonly we use a beta blockers and calcium channel blockers as a negative ion drugs this these indications can be uh different according to the clinical situation of the patient as well as the preference of the physician right and the condition of the uh, patient so therefore the applicant there there is no particular uh, application of these drugs so uh, specifically anyhow according to the situation and the preference of the physicians so this drugs uh, usage of these drugs can be vary right uh, most of time you can see as a negative ion tropes so in addition to that there are certain some iv preparation also so today we are going to talk about those things uh, gtn actually if if i call about this as a negative ion drops so actually gtn no effect not not affect to the uh, gtn is not affect to the heart contractility it affect for the vaso uh, venous it means uh, it can uh, dilate the venous vessels right so when dilating the vessels so blood pressure can be decreased right so mm, in addition to that uh, lobetalol also right lobetalol also can be taken as the negative ion drops anyhow these ion drops 
mostly affect no, mostly affect for the uh, vessels while dilating vessels they can reduce the blood pressure rather than uh, influence to the heart contractility right in the later part we are talking about those things right so we can go forward so positive ion drops administration right so i would already told about that three positive ion drops what are them adrenaline noradrenaline and dobutamine right adrenaline right so adrenaline is a hormone human hormone which is produced where yeah, adrenaline is produced adrenaline is produced adrenaline gland where is located along with the renal both right and left renal kidneys are there top of the kidneys we can see the adrenaline gland so adrenaline gland uh, can be divided into two adrenaline cortex and medulla so in the adrenaline medulla so this adrenaline uh can be secrete right so in the cortex in the adrenaline cortex So stress hormone, called as cortisol, also uh, secreted. So I may I told that for your more reference. So I think that you have seen uh, more and more time adrenaline vial. So the original preparations uh, might be comes as uh, vial or the uh, ampule. likewise so in our settings we are uh, mostly using it as a vial right so original preparation so this is the in the in the original preparation so adrenaline strength is 1 in 1000 1 in 1000 or 1 in Ten thousand. What is the correct? One in thousand or one in ten thousand? One in thousand. So, what does one in thousand mean? See this preparation. One milligram per. One ml, right? One milligram per one ml. If I multiply by thousand, I can write as thousand milligram per thousand ml. Thousand milligram is what? One gram. One gram per thousand. M. So one in thousand means this. So if you want to see one gram of adrenaline from this preparation, you need to have thousand m. Right. So this is what we are call as one in thousand. So in contrast, what does uh, one in ten thousand mean by? Right. Similar. It means right in that preparation. If you want to collect one gram of adrenaline, it should be included in ten thousand ml. Right. So original preparation is what? Original preparation is if you want to collect one gram of adrenaline, it should be included in thousand ml. So this is the original preparation. so you so you need to prepare one in 10000 means what so 
you need to dilute 10 times this original preparation right you need to dilute or 10 times this original preparation then you can prepare one in ten thousand preparation generally we are not giving one in thousand directly to the patient since it may have negative influences especially arrhythmia can be occurred you know we uh, give the adrenaline because of the improve the cardiac contractility since the one in thousand preparation when you are giving likewise due to this reason cardiac heart can be arrested so therefore uh, we usually not give the one in thousand preparation directly instead of giving that we have to prepare one in ten thousand then we can administer so how can we prepare one in ten thousand it means you have to ten times you have to dilute this preparation ten times so you can draw this one milligram of uh, one milliliters of adrenaline to the 10 cc syringe and remained 9 ml you can uh, draw distilled water then you can prepare one in 10,000 after prepare after preparing one in 10,000 you are able to administer uh, this drug so this is the uh, general way that we use and prepare the adrenaline uh, drugs in order to improve the heart contractivity right okay so second hand drop <coughs> noradrenaline right noradrenaline might uh, you can see as a vial of the ampule doesn't matter whatever the preparation is you want to know about how to use them that is important thing, right so already we told about that adrenaline adrenaline we can give as a bolus adrenaline we can administer as a bolus anyhow no adrenaline we are not giving as a bolus in general setting so most probably uh, we use no adrenaline as an infusion infusion right as an infusion so generally uh, you may see noradrenaline vial in your vial or the ampule in your setting. Most of they are prepared 4 milligram in 4 ml or 4 milligram in 2 ml might be. Right? Anyhow, most of time norad vial prepared as 4 milligram. Right? As 4 milligram right so using this four milligram we have to start a infusion right start a in, start an infusion so there is a problem with noradrenaline when we start as an infusion uh, we where a peripheral cannula so i can remember that in the previous session i emphasize you to uh, when we administering noradrenaline using a peripheral cannula uh, what would be the negative results for the patient There's a harmful result when we administer them via peripheral cannula. Prebiotes, inflammation of the veins. So therefore, when we start, when we are starting noradrenaline, doesn't matter if it is an urgent situation. We have to give priority, you know priority patients like so therefore we start it we are a peripheral cannula but anyhow if we want to continue uh, for a long period of time we have to change it as cv line 
so that's why the civil line is important uh, administering such iron drop right this iron drops has a negative influence to the veins so plebiotis can be resulted therefore in order to avoid plebiotis we have to use cvp line anyhow uh, i don't say it. we are if you don't have a cv line so using a peripheral lines also we are able to start anyhow the you should have awareness while going this uh, norad drilling or we are peripheral cannula try to uh, insert a cv cannula or inform to medical team to and take a decision about whether it's uh, whether the drilling is continued via peripheral cannula also although uh, or insert a cv line too right right so this is the adrenaline wire and you may take you are mm, yes you are taken a medical advice to administer noradrenaline infusion according to this regime Microgram. Okay. Yeah. Microgram per kg per minute. Right. Wait. Wait. so this is the regime this is the uh, regime that you have to calculate microgram per kg per minute right so you have 4 mg of noradrenaline by right 4 mg so how you are going to prepare this uh, preparation so generally you are doing what you are doing this 4 mg of this 4 mg of mm, noradrenaline draw into the 50 ml while the 50 ml syringe right 4 mg to a 50 ml syringe right it means 4000 microgram in the 50 ml it means you draw the 4 mg then they are after for a remain part you draw normal saline for the syringe and ultimately prepare a 50 ml syringe which includes 4 mg noradrenaline right eka therunna neda 4 mg eka adala ganna 50 ml ekata 50 ml ekata adala aran ithuru tikata 50 ml wenakan oda ganne normal saline draw karala ganna right it means you have for 
4000 microgram in that 50 ml so how many micrograms in one ml Eighty, right? Eighty microgram in one ml, right? This is the preparation that you have, that you already have, right? This is the preparation that you already have, right? Doesn't matter. Now think about the medical officers. prescription right what is the preparation that we have eighty microgram in one ml the medical officer's order would be microgram kg per minute right so generally noradrenaline can be started at 0 0.1 microgram per kg per minute up to 1 right up to one so this is a, a general way that we are using in adrenaline it can be can be changed right it can be changed but in general settings we are used as likewise right so let's think about um, patient who has a 60 kilo kilogram right patient who has 60 kilogram and um, uh point one medical order is point one microgram per kg per minute infusion should be given right right so what is the calculation results for a minute how many micrograms should be given per a minute how many Six. six microgram per minute but we are unable to calculate it as a per minute because of we are giving these drugs using a syringe most of time syringe pump in the syringe pump the machines work basis on the hourly manner right hourly manner therefore we calculate for it for the hourly it meaning 60 minute right right 360 microgram Per hour. Me calculation Then, the me calculation ne kare. Apni originally prepare hada the preparation ne ke four milligram me ne four milligram me ka fifty ml lo dilute kala gatta hama eighty microgram per ml preparation na kapilanga diye na. Medical load ek mukad the bhi hambe ne. A medical load ek ke na me ne me medical load da point one nolim patangan ne ke lagya. Point one patangan kilogram hatabara put gilek the point one patangan kilakina. 
අපි මේ කැල්කියුලේෂන් එකට දැම්මට පස්සේ විනාඩියකට යන්න ඕනේ පොයින්ට් 1 පටන් ගත්තට පස්සේ මයික්‍රෝග්‍රෑම් 6ක්. නමුත් අපි සිරින්ජ් පම්ප් ගොඩක් කරලා වැඩ කරන්නේ විනාඩියට යන මිලිලීටර ගන්න නෙමෙයි. මොකද්ද? පැයකට යන මිලිලීටර ගන්න තමයි තියෙන්නේ. ඒ නිසා අපිට පැයකට යන මිලිලීටර ගන්න හොයා ගන්න අවශ්‍යතාව ගත් තියෙන්නේ. පැයකට යන මිලිලීටර ගන්න හොයා ගන්න බලනවා පැයකට අපි ඩිලිවර් කරන්න ඕනේ මයික්‍රෝග්‍රෑම් ගන්න කීයද කියලා. පැයකට ඩිලිවර් කරන්න ඕනේ මයික්‍රෝග්‍රෑම් ගන්න उत्तरेट Now we can calculate rate. So it means if you want to if you want to deliver eighty microgram, we should deliver one ml. Now that we have one ml, we have eighty microgram. Now we want to deliver three thousand and sixty. Right. मेके उत्तरे को आउट देने किया देने पर पॉइंट आईएमएल पर पॉइंट फाइएमएल मेक कुछ चर टाइम में करा ड्यूरेशन इस बार फोर आवे आवे उटेट सच वे so we, we have to enter the patient's uh, weight as well as the microgram that uh, we have to administer as well as the uh, in information of the syringe it means uh, how many milliliters likewise so after giving all the those things they are automatically calculate this 4.5 right the machine automatically calculates this 4.5 but sometimes in some settings they they don't have such facilities when they don't have such facility they have to do it manually right this is the way that you can do it as manually but if you have a such facility no need to do manual uh, calculation you should enter to the all the document all the information to the machine so machine automatically calculates and thereafter provides the sufficient milliliter Rather, right? But if you don't have such a uh, facility, so you have to calculate it, right? You have to calculate it. So this is the way uh, you can calculate it, right? This is the way you can calculate it, right? So, okay, that will be the other one. Pulva, I will give you then microgram here. What can we do now? The file again. How many micrograms can be uh, found in the IV vial? Four thousand. Four thousand. Four thousand. Right? Four thousand if you want to take four thousand. We have to deliver 50 ml. अभी तो हर दाह गंडों ना किया क्या गंडों ने दे 50 ml ले गंडों ने अभी तो पैट हर दाह गंडों ना पैट 50 ml ले गंडों ने अभी तो अतर में गंडों ने किया दे पैट किया दे गंडों ने 360 right 360 right मेरे को सुलू कल बाला <coughs> I 
again what again four point five mil make from the game what again what they can calculate color and the blue one milligram asuak Microgram as you are can then one name will dog and don't I know my gram to the attack and it for three million dollars a calling calculate car make again over on my gram hard a gun don't know a bit of 50 ml the corner my gram to see it a bit of packet of one donor in a bit of here the kinetic you know 4.5 right sometimes you don't sometimes you may have facility of written document so which includes uh, the drop rate the drop volume rate according to the their own uh, weight right so this is such a graph right so use this uh, graph you have to prepare, you have to prepare 4 milligram in 50 ml wire. I may graph a pavichi karandana goya. We have a preparation necker when done a 50 ml or 4 milligram the end. A hima preparation like a hadala tama may graph a use karandavin. A hima preparation like a kadala may graph a use karotin. Abibala api hadabugana villa di no digela. Balanda make. See, you can see the dosage. What was our dosage? 0.1. Right? 0.1. Uh, this is the dosage. 0.1. So the weight, weight was 60 kilogram. Uh, 60 kilogram is here. Now we can check. 60 kilogram make it a IT when a point one volt and a milliliter gana key the kila key the gun four point five. Ambuda to three. Hatta the gay Pahalo at end the point one that pa. Etakota at a point one no loot three humbu in a one. Men a metana four point five. Hurry. Hatta the gay Pahalata out there. Right, make it up point one degree may pet that. What I'm gonna four point five. Right, if you don't want to calculate, if you have such a graph, so sometimes you don't have such a graph, also, you don't have such a uh, uh, syringe pump, so therefore, manual calculation should be there. So, this is the way that you can do the manual. Calculation. Anyhow, if you have this, uh, this like uh, this graph, so you 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 need no need to calculate those things, right? Apita ekka calculate kala balamu art meke user friendly vein, right? So I may give a uh, prescription. So medical uh, order would be uh, point. Three microgram for a fifty kilogram person per minute. Mehemo yata hambunot oya calculate kargani common. Paga preparation negamokad. Already you have a preparation. Preparation is what? 80, mil 80 microgram 
in one name. Make a moya Hadagan preparation. Make a Hadagan common. Our can ban make a Hadagan with you. Anyone can tell how to prepare this preparation? Four milligram in fifty ml. Yes, four milligram fifty ml or Hadagatra Pase, Okatama in it. Hi. So now you now you have to administer 0.3 microgram per for a 50 kilogram person. So what would be the uh, rate of this infusion? 11.25. Let's see. Right, uh, 0.3. Then multiply fifty and the sixty. Ne, pay kada gaane hai duvatte hai ma. Make calculate, make anod kiye den ne. Me mane den ne. Bindu bindu. Arappa tihai. Right. Ado gada. 900 microgram ne? is it correct yes. is it correct yes. yes 900 microgram should be administered in hour in an hour right nine microgram nine nine hundred microgram so the, our calculation is what we have a preparation it has 80 in a one name mail. So we need to deliver 900. Right? Approximately what? 11 point? Two. Not two. 11.2 ml shall we see whether it's correct according to the graph so the point three point three is here Then the weight fifty kilogram ne. Right, very good. Eleven point two five. Are ne? Why calculation ne kahari? Eleven point two five. Approximately eleven point two. So eleven point two five. Uh, is mentioned in the graph. Anyhow, this is the calculation. Is it clear? Yes. Yeah. So, no need to worry about the calculation if you have such a graph. Or no need to worry about the calculation if you have a such uh, machine. So, if you don't have both re uh, resources, so you have to do it manually right you have to do manually then thereafter you can administer in safe manner so this is the calculation of the noradrenaline and the way is better way is to administer using uh, what uh, cv line so if you don't have such facility so peripheral cannula also okay anyhow think about plebiotes of the patient right so this is the way that you can administer right